Hi guys, my name is Alona Lisa and I just finished up my degree from Central Michigan University and I specialize in making historical clothing and costumes. But today I wanted to talk about my culture and where I'm from. My heritage is from Ukraine. I was born there and I lived there since I was four years old and then I moved here to Michigan. I enjoy wearing traditional embroidered blouses and dresses like this one here with all of these embroidery details on the sleeves um, and I wear this both for special occasions and casually just because it makes me feel closer to my heritage and uh, to my identity as a Ukrainian American. I want to talk about why these embroidered designs and fibers are specific to Ukraine. Linen is the oldest known fiber in the world. People in Babylon wore linen. Before that, only uh, leather and furs were used for clothing and for protection. Uh, so many cultures wore linen when it was first processed and invented. But what makes it special to my culture is that Ukraine has the perfect climate for growing flax, which is the plant that linen comes from. Only Belgium and France are rivals for such a perfect climate. For centuries, Ukrainian peasants have been able to complete the entire process of creating beautiful linen products, growing the flax and harvesting it, processing it to make yarn, hand weaving it into fabric, sewing a clothing or household item, and then embroidering it with designs, designs specific to the community that they lived in. Uh, towels, table runners, and tablecloths has also been used as a platform to showcase culture, tradition, and artistry. Each region of Ukraine has its own specific set of embroidery designs that is beloved to them, and even each village has uh, specific twists to the design that really mark it as theirs. Uh, some regions really love black and red designs, other prefer uh, really colorful designs, and some do geometric, even others love uh, floral embroidery. And on my sleeve here, I have a lot of blue, orange, and uh, geometric designs. And you can see that there is a sun motif as well. Lenin is ingrained to the culture of Ukraine in many ways. There are many traditions surrounding Lenin and even a Lenin festival that happens every year in some regions of the country. Uh, there's also many superstitions surrounding Lenin. Uh, when coming to live with a husband's family, a newly wedded wife will cover the table with her handmade tablecloth, uh, richly embroidered, of course, and this kind of gives the family a sense of what uh, she'll bring to the table with her skills and um, shows a sense of respect for the husband's family as well. Um, burial rites in Ukraine might include placing the linen under the shoulders of the dead person to shield them from the last judgment. So if there was a drought, people wanted to prevent an epidemic, or a child had a serious illness, people would often make special towels out of linen that they would make in one day's time to prevent the bad thing from happening because they thought that um, the, the process of doing this kind of warded off all the evil spirits. The textile is seen as a symbol of beauty for girls in Ukraine. There's an old custom of weaving the flax plant into a small braid and decorating it with ribbon. At a young woman's wedding, it would be attached onto a stick and burned to give a cleansing effect to the young couple while they performed a ritual wedding dance. Thank you for learning a bit about my culture and what I wear. Um, what do you wear to represent you?